What's up guys? This is the Roy from and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off where we left off, we are increasing the pressure on the Persian Indian border and we are attacking the Dagon forces of Abigan Sukumar. So without further ado, let's crack on. So at least in this campaign, unlock quick climb. So hordes of Indian troops are not a problem. In fact, the hordier the better. The more damage we can do to them as they cluster in. But yes, part of our policy of maximum pressure on all fronts. So there, they are on the defensive, which is okay, because on the defensive, they might they might hunker down with their cavalry. Let's deploy all my artillery. Foot artillery up here. Deploy my line infantry up front. So I might turn the firewall off for now. Send three units of skirmishers on the right. Three two units of skirmishers and an infantry unit on the left. How it says ready to fire. So I hear the quick I hear the shrapnel shot. I have to actually push up in a fairly aggressive manner. Especially if we're going to get bombarded by channel shot. Because that was quite decimated one of my units. Yeah, blowing more holes in my line. Cavalry to counter it. But I do have an opening on this flank. risk. And we've got within musket range. Dismantling their gun line from this flank. So they deploy their cavalry onto the left. Drop some square formations. No, nope, don't worry about square. As usual. Yep, we might lose our skirmishers, but to be honest, we're a very skirmisher heavy army anyway. Sharp shooters. 
Jesus. Four hour square. This square still running strong. Good God alive, that's not good at all. Yeah, it's understandable, we've got troops routing. But this is why we attack with two armies. I think we're going to need. So we could get these guys to form square, but I don't know if they do it in time. Yeah, a lot of breaking. So let's do some friendly fire. Reinforcements are here. Good old 67. This flank's still holding strong, but we're about to get hit by Hindu warriors. Square formation for the line. Provincial scouts are in. We're engaging the general's bodyguard and the armed peasantry, and that's okay. Let's get our artillery to engage. These men, same with our artillery here. Dervishes, you go after them as well. Charge by the peasantry. Okay, let's retarget our artillery. 24 pound a foot. Route. Don't need you. I still fire. I mean, I definitely retargeted my artillery, but I don't think it seems to have mattered. Let's deploy the general bodyguard. Let's test out the old ah, light troops of what do you want to attack elephants. Set attack the peasantry, yet for some reason the sharpshooter decided to shuffle into the general's bodyguard unit. Well, go for it. Both of these artillery units can just clear off. All of you fire round shot against the full artillery. God, this has been a real mess, this battle. Um, you can pick at the elephants. Still, this might be attacked as the Americans with significant force. Yep, we've got rid of 
the elephants. Let's halt fire with all artillery. And let's take this opportunity to annihilate everyone. Cavalry, yes please. Go after them, make those two run away. Go take care of these guns before they rout, hopefully. Can they get there? Yes, maybe. Yep, they did. Awesome. God, these guys have split in two massively. So there's a chunk here, there's also a chunk over there. And whoever those guys are that are everywhere. I don't even know who they are. Allied. Are these like AI controlled then? Or is this like one of the routing? Is this like a bug? I told them to route, but they've just decided not to. Or well, they have decided to route, but in a really weird way. Oh, they are back over here. close victory. Yeah, it was pretty dodgy, I must admit. Like I said, this is why we have multiple armies, so we can withstand those losses without it being too critically damaging. Immediately. So let's take this army. They gave us some support. They can come up By and cover the, the river. March. Any further yes. orders? Nathaniel Winthrop can replenish and source a unit of company infantry. Nauru is secure, so he will. This chap will move up and around over the bridge. More orders. At the While you replenish, you're fixed. You're fixed. Yes, sir. Sir. Yeah, you can knock out that raiding army. Virtue and valor unconquered. Charles Holborn is an exceptional general. Sir. So let's move. Gifford North Make ready. with Charles. Rose. Archibald Backhouse, you can stay where you are for now. These chaps are a concern. Sort of. They're all fragments. If ready. you want to go for Jude, that's okay. This is still where the decide well not the deciding factor anymore is. Well it is actually, there's lots of triple stacks. So you're replenishing. Ready for orders. You're replenishing. At the ready. You're on the move. You're all pushing up. Humble, okay. Sir. I think in general I've done everything I want to do. Like I want these guys here to cover Afghanistan because right ready now they'll orders. be. I mean, it's not a brilliant yes, reinforcing army, but it'll do. But let's hit end turn. Oh, the army from the Black Hills is moving in. I've got another army from the north. More troops and more spies. Harvesting supplies. What are you going to do now, Marathas? Hey, they've taken a fort. That might be quite convenient, really. Yeah, it might actually be quite convenient to besiege them in that fort. It pins them down, stops them from being able to move. As the educational people are on the move, all the scholars are on the march. Prepare for border! <laughs> so auto is all this. Yeah, they killed three to one. Disaster. So it wasn't a there are currently cakewalk no for them. Oh, do I want to intercept them? Absolutely I do. 
Absolutely I do. So let's swap the order a little bit so we get some more useful troops coming in first. Then the general. Awesome! Yes, I am going to intercept because I want to draw them into battle. They do have mortars, which is a bit of a bummer. But got to do all we can do. It's the best opportunity to do something annoying and run around and... So... Let's see how we get on. Oh damn, Ben Franklin. It's a depressing way to look at it. Probably not wrong, though. Radio. So, you guys seen how much having a relatively fresh army outside of the walls. So let's... So they're coming from over here. So let's put some... Light... F okay, where do I want to put my artillery? Let's put two guns worth of it here, for now. My dragoons can stay outside the walls for now. I'm going to forego putting troops inside the buildings. Let's put my heart is here in a good position. Here in a good position to hit as wide a direction as possible. You guys are deployed, you guys can wait to see where they come next. So let's put some light foot above the walls. The marines can go. Two units of marines can go here. Long riflemen. Yeah, put some long riflemen. I'll put them both over here. For now. Okay, now a line of infantry in more standard positions. garrison this bit section of the wall because it's so damaged. Should we put you here? These guys might actually go up here because they might fire backwards into the breach. And then let's take you, put you on this section of the wall. Massive general's bodyguard unit. Sheldon's Dragoons can go out here. It gives me I'll space these out a bit more. Like that. I've got two units to position where I need to place them. Good. So the artillery and all of the cavalry's over here. Probably shouldn't have really shouldn't really have interfered with where they were attacking. Let's give the Bajir infantry. Fire them off. Fire them on. To be honest, it seems like they're not gonna give up they're trying to take this corner. So much better dragoons in here is Hmm. 
Gurkhas, you're a target. You're a priority target for sure. Friend near a unit of his sea quarries as well. Oh, a hit here would have been excellent. Just behave as expected and go for the breaches, please. attack us this time. Drop a good quick climb shot down here. A lot of dead men. Dervishes. This is the main problem. So let's. And this is why I hate this level of fort, because this sort of nonsense doesn't happen with the small square ones. These forts are way too buggy. really frame rate like this because it means it takes goddamn forever to fire my howitzers which are already really slow firing like if you could drop a shot there that would be fab Those Gurkhas are really, really good melee troops. Which is your light foot? You are light foot as well, because both our marines are down here. Come on, fire down. I mean, it's going to be like super can't even. God, making it faster is just is even worse. But yeah, whoever it was in the comments that says that you know, suggesting suggested uh, tactics to fight better in this sort of castle. Um, yeah, no, I just don't want to fight in this kind of castle at all if I can help it. That is my preference. Come on. Because it 
wicked shark would just bleh, would just kill all of them. Start repeat firing. Cast shots. So one second in game time has taken five seconds in real life. <laughs> Gurkhas are losing apparently, but that won't last forever. Good, I think here come the heart shots. You can just actually follow the balls really easily through the sky. This one might have a reasonable shot. Because they do go through walls, I think. Quick climb effect. It's got a hundred of them ish. more. Another hundred. So it's 200 of them have died. Yeah, that has sped it up quite a lot. See? Such... Oh, it's such a massive bottleneck on such a small thing. Look at all those dead Gurkhas. Got them. Go for them because they're all so. We'll go for them because they're all clustered together. Just not doing anything. Be predictable and go for the breaches, please. Fire one off. A lot. I mean, they're only light foot, so I have to send them in more or less. Charge into the dragoons. Turn firewall off my cannons. Turn firewall off my infantry. God, these Gokas are routed. Let's get these men in formation quickly. bit of this patch of ground to help out my legion. I should send my dervishes out. Not my dervishes, my cavalry.
If they can make this unit of she's route, that'd be great, because I'm pull them back. Time fire will. Kind of shot those dervishes, please. And just kind of shot this area. Attacking the musketeers from the rear. Hit the Gurkhas, but really I want you to charge them to back of the dervishes. Oh good, that should have done a lot of damage. Good, down to 94 men. That's exactly what I wanted to see. They're routing. No, you get back. I don't want you to tempt anyone else into trying that. Quick climb onto the sea of warriors. I mean, yeah, fight the ducky. hit the Pindari horsemen because if I can make them if my horsemen route I can just get reinforcements and get another unit of infantry. It's all gone frame ratey, so let's cause that. Shoot down the Pindari horsemen with your carbines. Target to some of this cavalry. Yeah, you actually went for it this time. Let's get the cavalry outside as well. You're useless up there now, so I might just run you down here. General with oh, pop shot from the walls with the cannon. Perfect. Just try to 
much straight in. Quicker we can get something more useful. Let's get a legion on the walls here. Just go off the camel gunners. Whatever weak damage they can do, do it. Focus my cavalry onto the lancers. Because cavalry is what spooks me. Let's get some of my riflemen into that house. No one seems to attack here, so I'm tempted to just. Well, I will. I'll gradually start to deploy more troops over to this breach instead. Frame ratey. There it is. Good. We've not got far to go, man, before we can start to recruit some actual more useful troops. Whoa, you don't go down yet. Get back up there. Specifically target the lancers to make sure they do get hit. Just not the ones after them. No, all my gunners, they do not care one solitary bit. Come on. Stupid guns. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually uh, quite okay with that pace of advance. Is this my route? These are some more troops. Yeah, to be honest, I'm okay with them walking in like this. If anything, I think I might want the infantry to be more like that. Get some marines over here. Don't get the seat musketeers. I'll have a go at them. At least help out. Off and then back on to get them re engaging.
going after my reinforcements before they even have a chance to get on the field. this general actually to engage. Oh no, there's no one down, down there anyway. Good. Push up. I mean, just because you're on guard mode, I don't know why they followed you, why they followed the troops away. Actually, you've got to stay there. to the Dial Answers. No fancy. Just can you check in just to make sure they do stay in formation? them now. Nope, you are broken. So move up. Let's get the quick climb firing here. Let's get that unit to pull back because they've been sufficiently hammered as to not be as useful. So now they might start going for this breach. Oh, 
both of these guys form square. Here's our next unit. Grenadier guards. Yep, they've changed their mind. They've changed their mind, so back you go. Bugginess. Let's go into March inside. There's another unit, foot guards this time. So if we can get a good Power to shot into the bottom of this assault. Okay, now let's get back over to you. Form a square. Let's run the foot guards up. Keep the guys outside for now. Charge two fresh units of infantry. Let them. Relatively fresh, they're tired, but they're still going to get massacred. Poor souls. Redeploy the quick climb against the Hindu Musketeers. Let's redeploy the Pelters. They have no more ammo. Climb shot away. Beautiful. Let's 
74 men. Have we got any men that strong in that strength of unit? Because look, they're running this way, running away. Company infantry. We do have company infantry, but no. Not you guys. Not the 22nd. 94th, 106th. City Billy, charge in. Let's keep the artillery focusing here to kill them. This poor unit can't make heads and heads no tails of it. Put the elite infantry on the corner. So we must not just put all of it out here. We're climbing a more than enough to take out these guys. Oh. Just as I said it. Broken. Just go around shot. Fire them mortars, I suppose. Oh no, actually, it's perfect for you, Jamie's bodyguard. You still fire quick climb at instead. a little bit now because it doesn't seem like they've got many much more strength in the field let's push up spread fire about yeah we've got quick lined go for the waters Some more mortars out there and some, oh, some artillery as well. This, if I'm understanding the map correctly, should be the end of it once I clear these artillery encampments out. And absolutely kill the mortar crews. And charge on. The mortar crews are up here. Oh no, they're coming back. Only more than not. Speed it. Let's get him in. I bet you're broken. That's everyone else dead, I think. They're not mounted. End battle. Close victory. It was a bit it was a bit dodgy, I must admit. But that's done quite a lot of damage to them. Six, they haven't got 2,000 men remaining. Why did I not get into sleeps? Let's move you up to fill in this gap here. Anything more? Yeah, yeah, you got a bit of a hammering. So let's recruit two units of company line. No, one company line, one Indian mercenary unit. I'm still generally in pretty good nick. Yes, sir. Is that you? Yes, sir. So you push up in front of the town. March. Yes, sir. Ooh, you move around to this bridge Forward. here. March. At the sure, Lincoln, you might actually... Yeah, they might actually engage. Yeah, they're pretty depleted. But looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully the mopping up of the last two Indian forces in the east. Cheers guys.